Now the nightmare scenario, and, and statistically, even though media plays it up really big, very, very rare, but very, very tragic, where you have uh, some uh, demented person who gets hold of some type of uh, semi-automatic rifle and they go into a business or a church and they try to shoot it up. Now, thankfully, most times these people are not trained. All right. Now, the best thing for you to do in, in that type of situation is to find cover. But what if you can't and all you're armed with is a handgun? All right. Now, if you think this person's wearing body armor and maybe a Kevlar helmet like uh, certain individuals have done in recent times, it's a gamble. It's a risk. But what do you have to lose in a situation like that? My thoughts are that you go for the groin, where there's uh, nerves, there's arteries, uh, there's the pelvic bone that could be shattered and possibly could disable that person enough for you to get away. Plus, there's also a certain element of psychological trauma at getting shot in that area of your anatomy. And then follow it up with what you can see. Now what we're really going to talk about today is the Rossi revolvers and the unfortunate demise of these revolvers. Now Rossi as a firearms manufacturer started in the late 1800s in Brazil. And they manufactured revolvers and other types of firearms there. And then in the 1970s, through inner arms, began to re import these revolvers to the United States. Now, the Rossies I first came across was back in the late 80s, which were the inner arms revolvers. And they were predominantly made on the uh, Smith & Wesson J-frame pattern supposedly on some old Smith & Wesson machines. And that these were uh, commonly in three, with a three inch barrel so they could be imported. Uh, they were five shot revolvers. Now they were nice looking revolvers, but they're not, they weren't a revolver I would have shot hot ammunition through. So when I saw this beautiful, beautiful brushed stainless revolver, you know, and especially it was in good shape, nice lockup, 357, six shots. I said, man, I cannot pass that up. Plus, I actually like these bird head grips. Now, this is not an inner arms Rossi. This is a Rossi that was made by Brass Tech because in 1997, Rossi was bought out by Taurus and kept as a separate division, Brass Tech, and continued to make uh, Rossi revolvers for the next 20, 21 or so years. So what happened to Rossi and Brass Tech? Well, Brass Tech is still around, but Rossi revolvers are no more. And there were two things that happened that spelled the demise of Rossi revolvers. Number one, in 2013, Taurus sold 8,000 handguns to the wrong side in Yemen in their civil war. And because of it, and the wheels moved slow, but uh, Taurus was penalized by the UN and by other countries where they could not uh, sell the Rossi revolvers anymore. Now, it could have been semi-automatic pistols sold, but somehow in the scheme of things, it was the Rossi revolvers that uh, were sanctioned. And this uh, occurred around 2017. Now the second thing, which makes this revolver more of a collector's item than a self-defense item. And this was the massive recall. A recall of just about every revolver made by Rossi from 2005 to 2017. And this recall occurred in 2019 on account of uh, 
an incident in Alaska where somebody had a Rossi revolver in a holster and it dropped on the hard pavement, hit the hammer, and the gun fired. And there was one or two other cases where this happened. Instead of fixing the revolvers, uh, Taurus just offered to send people uh, a semi-equivalent of a uh, whatever Rossi revolver that they were having to send back. Now some people were okay with getting a new Taurus revolver. Other people ab absolutely loathed it. You know, reading comments on forums, it's like they wanted their Rossi back. So those two things spell the demise of the Rossi revolver. And this one, I checked the serial number out, and it is on the uh, recall list according to, uh, according to Rossi. You know, they still sell long guns. But I really wanted this gun as a collector's item. Also, you know, possibility and time if I feel comfortable with it. Uh, this may be uh, one of my carry firearms because, hey, six shots, possibility of carrying 357. You know, that's a lot to offer. Plus, it's a very beautiful revolver. And this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness.